The network security part of the product is extremely easy to use. Right here from network protection, I can take control of the firewall and intrusion detection systems. Clicking on firewall, this is where we can configure all of the rules that actually punch things in and out to the internet and to my network. I've made a sample rule here that allows the mail server to send outgoing mail. But what I can do is I can create very powerful rules that encompass multiple destinations, sources, and even services. This way I don't need to make hundreds of rules when really all I need is five. It makes it also much more easy to audit the policy later on. Let's make a rule here that allows a couple people in my company to make outgoing remote desktop connections to a few places at other companies where they need to do some management. From the sources, let's find Jane and Joe. And we'll drag them into the source. And the services is Microsoft Remote Desktop. So we just type in the word remote, see if we can find it nice and quickly and drag it in here. And the destinations are the three external companies that they need to remote desktop to. So we'll drag all three of those here. Now rather than make multiple rules for Jane and Joe on remote desktop going to all three of these companies, I can simply click save and I get with one firewall rule what I could have done with many dozen others if you take into account all of the possible combinations. Just turn the rule on because like all the rest of the product, many things can be turned on and off rather than deleting and re-adding them later. And now that rule is in effect and both Jane and Joe would be able to make their outgoing remote desktop connections. We also have a fully integrated country blocking system. Country blocking allows you to completely ignore regions of the world that could increase your threat exposure, but you actually have no business dealing with. For example, if I decide that I don't have any business in Mongolia and I want to not talk to any of them in that region, I can simply choose to block all traffic either to, from, or all and turn that on or off and away we go. This means that that region and all of the IPs that are traced as coming from that region or being a destination will be blocked. We can also choose to break that down even further and stop only traffic from or traffic to individual countries or entire regions of the world. Now the intrusion prevention system is also quite powerful, but unlike other systems, you don't have to go to network security school to learn how to use it. Simply turn the system on and tell it which networks you'd like to protect. When you click apply, suddenly thousands of attack patterns will be applied to all of your traffic, keeping you safe from most of the threats that are evolving and that have been proven to exploit your network. If you click on attack patterns, you can take further control, but instead of presenting you with all sorts of individual rules that you have to study individually, you can actually just choose the resources on your network. For example, if you have only Windows machines, you can turn off patterns that apply to Linux and other systems and click apply. This allows you to keep the pattern set that you apply to your company relevant, and yet you don't have to dive in and tune each rule individually.